With the largest vaccination program in history underway in this country, there's now a possible boost to the supply on the horizon. An FDA advisory committee is set to discuss Moderna's vaccine tomorrow, and there's hope it'll be authorized for emergency use as early as the end of this week. Dr. Anthony Fauci explaining to CNBC this and Pfizer's vaccines are similar in many ways. Moderna certainly will be available soon, have the same level of efficacy, the same safety profile, and virtually everything the same about them. So it wouldn't make much difference which of those you take. Like Pfizer's vaccine, early FDA analysis shows Moderna's vaccine is nearly 95% effective and appears to prevent severe disease. This graph shows that in Moderna's trials, people who were given the placebo progressively got infected with COVID-19 over time. But among those who were given two doses of Moderna's vaccine, almost no one contracted the virus. Both vaccines largely work in the same way, using messenger RNA, essentially the blueprint to create antibodies without causing infection. With Pfizer as well as Moderna's vaccines, there are possible minor side effects, including injection site pain, fatigue, headache, and chills. I'm also telling folks that after their second dose, uh, they may just want to take the, that next day off or at least be ready to take the next day off, and that's going to be important uh, just because people often feel feverish and a headache, but it lasts about 24 hours, occasionally up to 48, and then everybody gets better after that. Both vaccines require two doses, but Pfizer's are given 21 days apart, Moderna's 28 days apart. Some other differences. Pfizer's vaccine needs to be stored at negative 94 degrees, while Moderna's can be held in regular freezers at just negative 4 degrees. And while the Pfizer vaccine is recommended for Americans 16 and older, Moderna is asking for authorization for Americans who are at least 18 years old. Both vaccines still need to be studied in children, women who are pregnant and nursing, as well as people who are immunocompromised. And at this point, people opting to be immunized will not be given a choice of which vaccine they'll get. We're told that decision will be based solely on availability.